Hello and welcome to the multiplexer series on basics of multiplexers and signal switches. This video series explains basics of analog signal switches offered by Texas Instruments. In this video, we'll have a short discussion of switches, multiplexers, ideal versus non-ideal switches and configuration and channels of switches. What is a switch? Switches are one of the most common electrical circuit components today. They can be found wherever any signal has to be switched on or off. Analog switches are designed to pass or isolate analog signals by switching on and off CMOS transistors. They support analog applications such as audio and video data transmission. Analog switches are available in a variety of configurations and a wide range of voltages. In some configurations, an entire bus has to be disconnected by a single switch. This can be done with a switch with one enable pin that controls all internal switches of the device. TI offers such switches with up to 32 bits. In other cases, each line has to be controlled individually. TI offers such devices with up to 4 bit in industry standard packages. Combinations of both features are available as well. What's the difference between a MUX and a signal switch? Typically, a MUX refers to a multiple input to only one output device and the term switch is used with one input per output. However, they both are built with the same fundamental blocks. Solid state analog switches and multiplexers have become an essential component in the design of electronic systems which require the ability to control and select a specific transmission path for an analog signal. These devices are used in a wide variety of applications including multi-channel data acquisition systems, process control, instrumentation, video and audio systems and more. An ideal switch would have the properties that it acts as a short when on and an infinite resistor when off. In the on state the output would be the exact same as the input. In the off state both signals would not influence each other at all. Input and output can be used interchangeably here and is entirely dependent on which side is driving. A real switch will have a multitude of parasitics that impact system performance. In the on state there will be some resistance between the input and the output as well as capacitance. Combined these will both attenuate and distort the input signal to some degree. In the off state there will be some finite resistance between the input and output as well as capacitance. As such the output will see small coupling from the input and won't be completely isolated. As mentioned before, switches and multiplexers are available in multiple configurations. In this chart, the configuration defines how many signals a switch or a multiplexer connects to a single line. The number of channel defines how many configurations are in a single device. Thank you for watching the TI Precision Labs video Multiplexers and Switches Basics. To find more switches and multiplexers technical resources and search products visit ti.com.